Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King Johnson before here, bringing you guys more Madden Ultimate Team, and uh, this time we're gonna be playing on season two. Season one is over after that last game. I was like really mad, and I was like, I should have fucking won. Everybody who saw my last game on my on my season one playoff game, it was just horrendous. My decision making at the end. I mean, I did make it all the way to a field goal. It's just that I should have ran the ball on that last play. And the reason why I passed it and you know and the tight end dropped it. It's because I didn't know my kicker can actually kick over 30 yards. I mean, I was in the 34 or in the 31. I don't know how far I was, but I didn't know he can actually kick that far. So I was like a little bit worried about missing the field goal and, you know, this guy just going for it in the deeps because he's done it before. So I actually just passed it and my tight end dropped the ball and I, and I did a field goal and then he scored with a freaking long ass pass to a tall receiver and he scored in the last six seconds. So. I was so mad and frustrated, I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'm just going to play another game, and this is the second game I play right after that. Um, I was mad, so I took it on this guy, I was I was coming back with a vengeance, and goddamn did it pay off the first quarter, it was just, it's just painful to see, I mean, I just scored right away, I forced the fumble in the kickoff, my defense was reacting to everything he did, it was just incredible. So... I don't know, I just came back with the vengeance, all mad, and, you know, I was like, fuck it, I just want to destroy this guy, I want to make this guy quit, because I'm tired of this bullshit that, um, you know, I'm just missing small plays like that, that I just ended up losing, so, yeah, I just came back with a vengeance, and look at this one right here, pretty beautiful pass, I didn't expect that one to be completed at all, I'm surprised Ryan Tannehill completed that pass, it wasn't unbelievable, I mean, he actually put it right there, Victor Cruz with the touchdown right here. Now, for those of you guys who have been following me for the longest time, no, this is not the updated roster. This is not the current roster I have on week two. Uh, the current roster that I currently have is um, Brandon Brown and Sean Smith and a whole 85 overall O line. And yeah, so that's another proof. Another proof that uh, you know this is uh, the game right after the playoff game because this is still the season one team. <laughs> I still haven't changed anyone. I mean, I went right after into another game because I'm pretty. I was pretty sure that I could have won the game, but. Doing, doing the same thing and that's exactly what I did and goddamn you know I was owning this guy 13 to 0 in the beginning but uh and then you know I was getting a little bit too confident so I was like you know what fucking I'm just gonna mess around maybe not even focus on certain zones and goddamn this guy actually made a comeback <laughs> sorry for the spoiler he did a comeback and um you know it shouldn't have happened, but it happened. I mean, he actually stepped it up. I'm surprised what this guy did. And um, most of it came because of the... Most of the comeback came from, from, from his defense. And here's the reason why. Even though... I know most of y'all will laugh about this. Even though he was running prevent, my O-line couldn't do shit. <laughs> Look, this is why. My O-line is under 80 overall. Alright? His defense in line, for sure, he has like a hell of a defense. And you know, he, that's why he's penetrating. So I couldn't do ISOs, I couldn't go freaking power O's, I couldn't do my regular pistol formation, uh, power power to the right, I forgot what the hell the run, run play was, but yeah, this guy just couldn't allow me to run, so I was like, damn, I'm screwed because my freaking offense is ground and pound, so I couldn't run the ball, I was trying to pass and nothing was going on because this guy has everybody in yellow zone, I mean, I tried my best, but goddamn, so it all came down to the fourth quarter, guys. I'll tell you guys about the fourth quarter after this drive that he did right now. It's just incredible. I'm just like, there should have been a couple of picks here and there, but my defense again with his fucking butterfingers is just pissing me off again. I mean, that's why I, shot, I signed in Sean Smith and uh, Brandon Browner so they can give me more coverage and more hands on these guys. So right here, I, I'm about to do a goal line stand, but yet he still achieves to freaking make the touchdown. You'll be able to see why. I mean, everybody was reacting pretty much well. I mean, right there, look at that quarterback sneak being stopped. Then on this play, of course, he calls in his bullshit play, and there he goes the screen. Touchdown with his running back. So now this is a two-minute offense again, look, guys. Look at the top right corner. Two-minute offense, back-to-back -back games. As you can see, I'm a hell of a clutch guy. I admit it. I mean, it has happened several times to me that I come back in the fourth quarter. So there it is, a run down the middle. Um, and another pistol play, another run. I was, uh, my freaking offense was finally reacting to the runs. I'm surprised. And it wasn't reacting to the third quarter, or, I mean, to the second quarter at all. I mean, I'm surprised it's working right now. It, and, you know, I, I was like, fuck, why couldn't y'all fucking play like this in the beginning? 
right there, beautiful curl out by Victor Cruz. Pretty much of a good strategy right there. Just getting, uh, I just, I'm just calling in a bunch of passing plays that I haven't called yet. That, that I know they pretty much work. And uh, another thing that this guy was was doing is this guy was like trying to blitz in with the safety and with the corners, just trying to bring somebody extra. And that's where I got him with the with a fake cut. Beautiful <laughs> burn right there by T.Y. Hilton. 10 seconds to go into the game. I'm surprised he even did that. I mean, so T.Y. Hilton did help me on this game because he had that speed, man. So there it is. 21 to 14, guys. 10 seconds to go. This guy's not going to do anything after that. This time, I actually called in the two men under. And he was too far from the touchdown, so he couldn't put that bullshit from the other guy that played, that played me in the playoffs. So I ended up winning the game, guys. And I'm currently 1-0. Next week, you should be able to see my updated team, more of a beastie team. And, um, you know, it's going to be surprising how the second week ended, too. So, if you guys want to see more Man Ultimate Team, guys, make sure you subscribe for more. It's going to be a hell of a season. I can already tell with the new uh, signings that I had in the offseason of Season 1. And, uh, you know, y'all be surprised who I have. So, leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what's up. Tell me your, you know, opinions about this game. What is your favorite part and everything. So, I'll see you guys later and subscribe for more.